not all therapists are actually that effective. And this is not me trying to attack or offend anybody at all. Um, this is just me really reflecting on everything that I've learned and just kind of like looking at the dynamics and methods that a majority of therapists utilize to approach clients, right? This is actually more so a part two to uh, yesterday's video, I believe it was. Um, I was talking about how a majority of therapy is really just centered around putting a Band-Aid over symptoms, right? Um, a lot of clients, and understandably so, many things can be very <laughs> exceedingly challenging to live with. Many conditions, many uh, mental health issues, illnesses, whatever it is, right? Um, they can be exceedingly challenging to live with. Uh, sometimes even medication doesn't feel like enough, right? So the fascinating thing to me is that a lot of people, they enter therapy with this drive that they just want a fast track to a better life, right? And when you're dealing with such severe mental health issues, it's understandable. Like some mental health issues out there are so exceedingly severe that they literally cripple your fucking life like it stops you from being able to live even a somewhat subtle life a somewhat subtle normal life right and that's the reality of it right but all the people out there that want a fast track to a better life they need to understand that it doesn't really work that way and if what it is that you want is your therapist to tell you what is wrong with you or to tell you what it is that you need to do, don't get me wrong. There are like behavioral therapists out there that are there. There are therapists out there that will tell you what to do, but that doesn't mean it's effective, right? I can tell you to change your thoughts, your feelings, and your behaviors. It doesn't mean that it's going to last, right? What if a majority of the work for somebody is around dealing with, um, you know, repetition compulsion, um, which is rooted in childhood, right? Which also deals with um, feeling necessary emotions that have been uh, suppressed or, you know, repressed, whatever, right? Um, the reality of the matter is that you really you, you, you can tell a person what to do as a therapist, but is that actually going to change their life? Or is that instead just a band-aid for symptoms, right? Like say for instance, um, if the symptom is a cognitive distortion of negative filtering, oh, just think better thoughts. Mm. I don't know how far that's going to go. I don't know how uh, long-term effective that's going to be, right? Um, and let me just make this very clear. This might be challenging for some people to hear. Not every therapist out there has good, healthy boundaries. That's the reality of it, right? Not every therapist out there has good, healthy boundaries. And so, you know, the very interesting thing about it too is the very reality of therapy and the way that some therapists actually go about it, which I have learned is um, unhealthy and even potentially destructive, is re-traumatizing an individual by telling them everything that they don't know about themselves, right? Uh, which would essentially fuck them up even more than they're already fucked up, right? That's the reality. So the healthy boundary that would be put in place is to not expose information until the person is ready to hear it, right? Um, not all therapy does that. Exceedingly good therapy does that. Not all therapy does that, though. Yeah, there, there are therapists out there that tell you what to do right up front. There are therapists out there that prescribe you medication right up front. And guess what? <laughs> These oftentimes, I would argue more often than not, tend to be the therapists that are just not that good at what they do 
right? If you uh, go to a therapist and you tell that therapist that you're having a really hard time focusing, that therapist might just label you with a fancy, I don't know, um, label of, uh, I don't know, ADD, ADHD, right? People are misdiagnosed all the fucking time. They are, right? It's wild that sometimes all you need to do is tell a therapist or a doctor that uh, you're having trouble focusing. Oh, you have ADD. Oh, you have ADHD. You sure about that? (laughs) Uh, I personally believe that there is pretty much always more to the picture than just one session of, yeah, I can't focus in school. You have ADD. No. 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 Um, it's fascinating. Uh, I understand, again, I understand that a person might want a fast track to a better life. And this is another really important thing to understand too. Like really, really, really fucking important thing to understand. Um, maybe you do want a fast track to a better life. Maybe up until this life, uh, up, up until this point, your life has exceedingly fucking sucked. Okay. Um, that is probably a very real thing for many people um even many people watching my videos here um the reality of the matter is that years and years even decades and decades of subconscious and unconscious autopiloted programming and hardwiring of uh, repetition compulsion from childhood molded you into the way that you are right um i don't know that that could actually just change overnight. I, I mean, I, listen, I, <laughs> I've done a fuck ton of work on myself. I really have. Um, I've learned a fuck ton about myself. Um, I know myself really fucking well. Um, it takes a lot of conscious work to heal and to change yourself. It really does. Um, so those people that just want a fucking fast track to a better life because they're fucking tired of how much their life sucks because of, you know, what traumatized them. Um, it takes time. It takes time of consciously, even when you're tired as fuck, exhausted as hell, consciously choosing the newer upgrade for yourself. Right. And that means getting angry when you need to get angry. That means feeling feelings that you haven't felt, right? Um, I really do believe that a majority of therapy out there is really just a Band-Aid for symptoms. And I don't think that it really, to that large of an extent, uh, transforms people's lives. Um, I mean, I'll just, I'll say it for what I believe it is. Uh, You really want self-transformation you want an experience of, um, I mean, I don't know how much you can do it outside of therapy, but just like you, you, if you really want to change your life, I don't think a weekend seminar is going to do it. I don't think a, um, surface level therapist is going to do it. I don't think that, um, these programs that claim to fucking transform your life are going to do it. I don't, I'm just going to call it for what the fuck I believe it is. Um, Knowing your childhood as well as you possibly can, knowing what it is that traumatized you as well as you possibly can, um, that is, that's the shit right there. That really is. Um, And that can transform your entire life, right? But um, yeah, a majority of therapy, I would argue, is really just a band-aid for symptoms and it really doesn't go that far. It's not that effective and it's really not that long-term sustainable. Um, before I end off this video, I do want to say that from what I've learned, the most effective therapists out there are the ones that really, 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 really know their fucking shit inside and out, um, upside down, you know, it's like in every single corner of the fucking universe. Um, unfortunately, from what I've learned, there are fewer of the really good ones than there are um, of the ones that are just, uh, you know, more so focused on treating symptoms rather than getting to the root. That's the reality of it, right? And so um, you could want the fast track to a better life. Um, You could. I understand it. 
Um, but the likelihood that that's actually going to happen is fucking slim to none. It really is. And um, the very reality of re-traumatizing somebody is real. Right? Um, it doesn't matter how badly you want to change your life. The very reality of the matter is that you might actually not be ready to hear something that would lead to that life transformation, right? Um, And I'm not going to say that this is a full-on comparison, but, like, um, learning that you were adopted is a very real and potentially life-altering, shattering thing and experience, right? Um, Some people like to stay safe in their bubble, and they like to believe things. And that's just the reality of it, right? But you can, you can stay comfortable. Um, that's the reality of it, right? But it's really important to grow. It's really important to um, expand and to learn about yourself and everything. And understand that um, if there is anything out there, I'll make this very clear before I end off this video. If there is anything out there that is claiming to change your life, to transform your life, there's no going back. This is permanent. This, that, and the other. Oh my God. Fucking red flags all over the place. <laughs> like I, I see it everywhere too. I, I see all these advertisements like transform your life in this weekend retreat, completely permanently change the way that you feel and see the bull fucking shit. <laughs> who the fuck are you kidding <laughs> i mean don't get me wrong like i believe in like deep transformation based on a single session of feeling emotions but like if you're claiming that you're going to change somebody's life in a fucking weekend retreat you might introduce them to an experience of networking with really dope people that can lead to a further better life that's awesome Right, but you want to claim such profound change in such a short amount of fucking time, red mother fucking flags, back and forth, up and down, in and out, side to side, all over the place. No, 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 no. This is long term shit. This is a marathon. I'm in a different place today than I was ten years ago, and that's because I put in the fucking work. I could have not and have been in the same fucking place today that I was 10 years ago, but I'm not because I chose to actually be patient with myself, be gentle with myself, (laughs) being gentle with yourself. That's one of the most important things you can do because what did a lot of us learn to do with ourselves? Be really fucking hard on ourselves, beat the crap out of ourselves, right? That's what we learned to do and you don't need to do that. You don't. So actually, one of the most important things that you can do for yourself is to be gentle with yourself through this process and understand that it's a fucking marathon. It's not a sprint. It takes time. Um, And that's the reality of it.